This video is the continuation of the previous video which was about the overview of minerals in which I told you about what are minerals, that minerals are inorganic chemical elements and they are obtained from the sources that are outside the body, that the body cannot synthesize them. These can be obtained from the food and some, in some cases they can be obtained from dietary supplements. Then dietary minerals are of two types major minerals and minor minerals. Major minerals are also known as macro minerals. So what are macro minerals? Macro minerals are those minerals that are required by our body in larger amounts, at least 100 milligram per day or maybe more than that. What are different examples of the macro minerals? These include calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, sodium, potassium, chloride, sulfur. These are different macromolecules and I will tell you about each of these minerals, about these minerals, their introduction, what are their functions, and then I will tell you about their RDA, recommended dietary allowance, that how much it must be taken per day in our diet. What are their dietary sources? What the deficiency of these minerals may lead to and due to which conditions it may lead to the toxicity or excess of these minerals. Let's see and start each one by one. Let's start from the calcium or micro mineral let's start with the introduction of the calcium the major the sample for the calcium is ca and the atomic number is 20 and the normal level of calcium found in the blood is 8.5 to 10.2 milligram per deciliter that was the general properties about the calcium let's see the main important things about the functions what functions they perform inside the body they are required for the muscle and the heart health they are also required to maintain the digestive system. The most important function of the calcium that they are required to build the bones and they are also support the synthesis and functions of the blood cells. What is the RDA or recommended daily allowance of the calcium is 1300 milligram. From where or what are the dietary sources of the calcium for where we, we can get this mineral, we can get this mineral from eggs, from dairy products, from fish, from vegetables, seeds and nuts, and cinnamon. What if the deficiency of calcium occurs? The deficiency of calcium is known as hypocalcemia. In hypocalcemia, the calcium occurs when the calcium level in the blood is below 8.5 mg per deciliter. As we have seen that the normal level is 8.5 to 10.2 so when it is below 8.5 milligram per deciliter it may lead to the decreased level of calcium inside the blood that will be known as hypocalcemia. What if there is the increased level of calcium in the blood it is known as hypercalcemia. So why the hypercalcemia occurs? Hypercalcemia occurs when the calcium levels exceeds the 10.2 mg per deciliter in the blood. Magnesium. magnesium sample is Mg and the atomic number is 12. The normal level of magnesium found in the blood is 1.5 to 2.5 mg per deciliter. What are the functions of the magnesium inside the body? Magnesium is required for muscles and nerve functions. They are also involved in the development and nourishment of mental health. They are also re required to regulate the blood pressure involved in bone health and they also regulate the blood sugar levels inside the body. In which amount we have to take magnesium? Magnesium is RDA is 420 milligram. What are the different food sources for magnesium? These include nuts and seeds, yogurt, legumes, green leafy vegetables. 
What if magnesium intake is below their normal level? When the magnesium level falls below the normal level, that is 1.5 milligram per deciliter, it will lead to the deficiency which is known as hypomagnesemia, which is the low level of magnesium inside the blood. And what if there is increased level of magnesium, if the magnesium level exceeds the normal value 2.5 milligram per deciliter, it is known as hypermagnesemia, in which the level of magnesium inside the blood is more than the normal value. So these both deficiency and excess may lead to the different consequences and disorders in the body. The other mineral is phosphorus. Let's see here, the symbol for the phosphorus is simple P. Phosphorus atomic number is 15 and the phosphorus level inside the blood, the normal value in the blood, it can be found as 0.8 to 1.5 milligram per deciliter. What functions are performed by phosphorus inside the body? Phosphorus are involved in contracting muscles. They are involved in regulating nerve signals, building blocks of DNA and RNA. They are involved in blood pH regulation and they also perform immune function and they are involved in production of the energy through different metabolic processes as they are involved as a cofactor in different metabolic processes. What is the RDO phosphorus? That is the 700 milligram from where you can get phosphorus, the dietary sources of phosphorus include red meat, dairy products, rice and oats, fruits and vegetables. Let's see what will happen when the phosphorus is deficient in diet and when there is low intake of phosphorus in diet, it may lead to the deficiency and a deficiency of phosphorus is known as hypophosphatemia. Hypophosphatemia occurs when the phosphate level intake falls below 0.8 milligrams per deciliter. And what will happen if the phosphate level increases the normal value 1.5 milligram per deciliter, it will lead to the hyperphosphatemia. Hyperphosphatemia is the increased level of phosphate inside the blood above their normal range. In the dietary mineral the normal value of the sodium inside the blood is 135 to 145 milliequivalent per liter and the sample for the sodium is Na and the atomic number for sodium is 11. What functions are performed by this mineral inside the body? This mineral sodium ion is involved in the body to perform various functions which include contracting muscles, they are involved in nerve signal transmission, they regulate blood pressure and they maintain the fluid balance inside the body. The RDA for the sodium is 1500 milligram. From where we can get sodium, the dietary sources of sodium include table salt. The most important one, the table salt, is the common example of the sodium that it contains the sodium. The milk also contains the sodium. Spinach is a good source of sodium and vegetables are the sources of the sodium. What happens if the dietary intake of sodium is less or if the body is deficient from sodium? It will lead to the deficiency in the blood which is known as hyponatremia. In hyponatremia, the sodium level in the blood is below the normal value, the normal range 135 milliequivalent per liter. That condition is known as hyponatremia. What if the sodium intake is excess or high in case of certain medications or certain diseases? It will lead to hypernatremia. What is hypernatremia? Hypernatremia is a condition in which the sodium level in the blood is above their normal range. That if it is above 145 milliequivalent per liter, it may lead to the development of hypo, hypernatremia. Potassium. Sample for the potassium is simply K. The atomic number of potassium is 19 and the normal level of potassium inside the blood is 3.5 to 5.0 milliequivalent per liter. 
What are the different functions of potassium inside the body? The important functions are include they are involved in muscles contraction, nervous sing nerve signals transduction, they are involved in regulating blood pressure and they also maintain the fluid balance just like the sodium ion and they are also involved in building proteins. RDA for the potassium includes for 700 milligram from where we can get potassium the dietary sources include legumes dietary sources turmeric and fruits and vegetables what if the potassium level is decreased in the blood it is known as hypokalemia the efficiency of potassium below the normal range is known as hypokalemia and if it is above the normal range it exceeds the normal level inside the blood it is known as hyperkalemia the other dietary mineral is chlorine chlorine symbol is cl the atomic number for chlorine is 17 and the normal level of chloride as they are present in the body in the form of chloride so the level of chloride in the board in the blood is 95 to 105 milliequivalent per liter what are the functions of this chloride inside the body chloride perform various functions in the body they are involved in digestion and the most important function that how they are involved in digestion by the production of the hcl they have digestive functions they maintain fluid balance and they also involved in cellular pump functions the rda for the chloride is 2300 milligram from where we can get chloride we can get chloride from table salt the most common example is simple the salt that is used dairy products seafood and vegetables are the dietary sources from where we can get chloride what happens if the chloride intake is less it may lead to the deficiency and the deficiency of the chloride level below the normal range 95 milliequivalent per liter will lead to the development of hypochloremia hypochloremia is the deficiency of chloride in the body and what if there is the excess of chloride in the body it may lead to the development of hyperchloremia above the normal range inside the blood of chloride level it will lead to the formation of hyperchloremia and the last the other dietary mineral which is the major and macro mineral is the sulfur the chemical symbol for the sulfur is as simple as the atomic number is 16 and the normal level of sulfur in the blood is 0.15 to 0.55 milligram per deciliter what are the functions of the sulfur inside the body as the sulfur is the main component of the two amino acids like amino acid methionine and cysteine these are the two amino acids that contains the sulfur so they are involved in the proteins and we can say that sulfurs are involved in the synthesis of protein how by make up the synthesis of two amino acids like methionine and cysteine these are the sulfur containing amino acids so they are also involved in enzyme activity they also perform antioxidant activity they have immune functions and they are also involved to maintain the health of the joint and skin what is the RDO for sulfur? RDA of sulfur as sulfur is not directly taken, but sulfur is taken in the form of methionine as sulfur is the component of amino acids, methionine and cysteine. So the RDA for the methionine is 14 milligram. From where we can get these methionine and cysteine in the dietary sources, we can get from garlic, onions, broccoli and cauliflower, seafood and daily products. What if the sulfur intake is less it may lead to the deficiency the deficiency of sulfur can occur in people who eat very low protein diet because these are present in the amino acids and they are required in the protein synthesis and there are some certain medical conditions such as celiac disease and Crohn's disease in which the sulfur deficiency can occur 
in which cases the sulfur toxicity can occur that if the sulfur intake is excess the excess in some conditions there may be also the excess intake of sulfur so excess intake may lead to the toxicity inside the body this was all about the macro minerals also known as major minerals the other video is about the micro minerals or also known as minor minerals don't forget to watch these videos thank you